What up, y'all? Your know is I am here today to expose Kate Peters for the piece of shit that she is and show you guys once and for all that what she did to me can land her in fucking prison and that she's doing all this for the fucking views not because she wanted to do what was right but because she wanted the views because she saw me as an easy fucking target so let's get into this shit cause I'm tired of this bitch getting away with this let's do this starting off we're going to play back a little bit of this video where she openly incriminates herself and basically says that Marty hiring her is a good thing which wasn't that was there he's being a smart ass oh but like, like they really hard about being a danger yeah they it's actually true. they might not be showing it Kate but they actually are scared they might not show yeah. it but they actually are well like, see, what I don't understand is this Kate like I understand that what I did was fucked up and never should have happened but what I want to know is why is it and don't don't sit there saying you didn't do it because I saw the video that Classic Games Canada put out. Why the fuck would you have Marty students come to my house? Well, I mean, I, I, first of all, I didn't really specify what was supposed to happen with the goop. Just that I wanted their services. Now, Strike number one, you did specify what they wanted. We all saw the fucking video, bitch, so fuck you. Cyrax, have you ever employed goons before? No, I have not. And even if I did, that's none of your business, you dumb bitch. Do I? <laughs> have, have you ever hired a goon before? What'd you say? But honestly, after, oh. this, after this shit, I'm seriously thinking about a start, especially after my family being put in fucking danger. Oh, I would be, obviously I feel like, uh, I feel like good employment is a good option, okay? You can clearly tell by the look on her face that she's just doing this shit for the fucking views. I mean, look at this fucking dead ass look on this bitch's face. I mean... But I just, I know you explain something to you for what you do. Okay. You can clearly see that she's not all there. Now, her saying that goon options, like hiring goons is a good option, no it ain't, bitch. And look at fat ass Marty over here fucking laughing, dude. Like, what the fuck? Now, if y'all don't know what really went down, Kay Peters, a.k.a. Natural Mafia, was hired by Marty to illegally entrap me. Now, I know what a lot of you guys are saying that, oh, entrapment isn't illegal. Ah, but it is. And here are the reasons why. That the way she went about it is, in fact, illegal. Because one, I don't have a history of it of everything that went down. I never once did anything like that shit at all, despite what everybody on YouTube says, despite what all the fake ass fucking people want to say. Like, hello, wake up, never happened. Now, let's go over here to the reasons why it's illegal. A travel generally involves inducing someone into committing a crime they would have they wouldn't have committed otherwise. However, when a private citizen without involvement of law enforcement tries to entrap another person, it might not be illegal in the same way it would 
if it were to be done by law enforcement. Valid point. In legal concept, in legal context, entrapment is typically associated with law enforcement and or government officials. Inducing someone to commit a crime they would otherwise wouldn't have committed, it's often seen as an abuse of power. Also fair point. In some jurisdictions, it might result in the dismissal charges of uh, charges against the individual who is entrapped. When, when conducted by a private citizen, while it might not be illegal in the same sense as legal entrapment, it could still raise ethical or moral concerns. It could still lead to civil issues or legal disputes, especially if the action leads to harm. Coercion or deceit. Laws and regulations may vary by, juris by jurisdiction, and civil suits could potentially be filed for actions taken that infringe on an individual's rights to cause rights or cause harm. Overall, the legality of actions taken by private citizens to induce others into criminal behavior can be complex and complex. Depends. It's advisable to seek legal counsel and blah blah blah. Now, and trying whether conducted by a private citizen or law enforcement typically involves inducing someone to commit crimes they wouldn't you already know about that shit. Here are some key points to consider. Probable cause. The lack of probable cause is a significant factor in determining the legality of entrapment. If a private citizen induces someone into a committed crime without any prior indication or reason to suspect illegal activity, and it can raise ethical and legal questions. Intent and motive. The intent and motive behind the inducement are crucial. If the inducement is done with the intention of trapping someone into illegal activity, it may be viewed as unethical or even illegal. Harm or coercion or coercion or how are you say that? If the inducement leads to harm or significant negative consequences for the individual being induced, it could potentially result in legal consequences such as civil lawsuits or criminal charges. Jurisdictions. The laws surrounding entrapment may vary by jurisdiction, which means state to state. What is considered entrapment? Fair point. And the legal consequences may differ depending on where the actions occur. Civil lawsuits, even if criminal charges are not filed, the individual who was induced may pursue civil lawsuits against the person responsible for the inducement. It is, it is essential to remember that the legality and consequences of inducing someone into illegal activity can be complex and, and context-dependent legal advice and whatnot. Now, here is where things get very interesting. Fraud. The inducement involves deceit or misleading someone into committing a crime. Charges related to fraud might be applicable. Harassment. If the actions involved in coercion, harassment, or manipulation to get someone to commit a crime, charges related to these behaviors could be pursued. Specific crime charges. The induced crime itself may lead to charges, but the defense might argue that the person wouldn't have committed the crime without inducement. In cases where Entrapment occurs involving law enforcement if proven in court and may result in the dismissal of charges against the person who is induced or manipulated into committing a crime. C. 
so point being Kate did what she did for the fucking views she openly admitted it on her fucking channel when she called me she openly admitted that she did it because of the fact that she thought I gave off pedophile vibes. That's not a legal valid excuse. That is not an excuse and what she did has led to harm. Physical work pretty much every way you can think of has happened. I've washed jobs, family members have washed jobs, friends have washed jobs, I've been assaulted, my house has been vandalized multiple times, our car has been, has been attempted to be stolen three different times via towing, we've had people break into our car and vandalize it, I've had people try to murder me. I've had serious death threats. I have been slandered. I have been defamed. I've had my reputation fucking tarnished. Therefore, what Kate has done is illegal. And Kate, you can bet your fucking ass I'm coming for you legally. I am coming to shut your punk ass down and I'm going to show the courts what kind of sick fucking twisted bitch you really are. So Kate, prepare for war you dumb cunt. By the way, anybody who thinks I'm a pedo, fuck you, you dumb bitches. You clearly don't know the law like you think.